All right. We're just going to get started now. And if more people come on, I can admit them. Hi, everybody. My name is Jasmine, and I will be moderating this session. Your presenter today is Nahal. We are very excited to bring you Core Value Judging in Illinois from Husky Robotics. Before we begin this presentation, I just want to introduce myself and my co-host. I'm currently a senior and I've been doing robotics for four years. Really quickly, I'm going to go over how this presentation will continue. I have muted all of you for now, but as the meeting goes on and you think of questions, please select the raise hand function located by clicking on participants. And once I have called on you, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. We strongly encourage you all to ask a question in the chat if that is more convenient so we can keep track of asked questions. Nahal or myself will ask questions for you guys and you all can respond by either typing in the chat or using the symbols in the chat or using the reactions feature on the bottom bar. Please use the chat and reactions feature appropriately. I would also like to let all of you know that these presentations are being recorded. Now that we've got that out of the, now we've got that out of the way, I will let Nahal introduce himself. Thank you. Um, as Jasmine said, my name is Nihal, and I'm presenting to you Core Values Judging. So a short introduction to Core Values. FLL is made up of three parts, the Robot Game, Project, and Core Values. Robot Game and Project are really what you do in FLL. You know, throughout the entire season, you're putting in effort to develop your robot and its attachments and also the project presentation, and you're trying to solve a problem. But in core values, it's more how you do those two. Core values is evaluated through four things, the robot design presentation, project presentation, the one minute introductory video your team will give, and a question and answer um, session between you and the judges. That might be live, it might be through video call. All that will be decided by your individual team. In core values, uh, you're judged on how your team makes decisions, solves problems, and comes to get together to solve different things. Um, it's really, you're judged based on characteristics and how well you can perform. So next is the scoring system. So in core values, you're judged on six different skills. On the right, you can see there's a rubric. Um, you can be rated anywhere from beginning, which is level one. That's when you're beginning to develop a skill. You haven't quite really gotten there, but you, you can still work on it and you can grow for following years. And you can be rated four which is exceeds, you exceed expectations, you're above and beyond. Each of these skills is really uh, the culmination of an entire season. Sort of. So you can't make it up on the spot. It's really something that has to be kept in mind throughout the entire season, throughout every project that you do. You have to keep these six things in mind so that when it comes to the competition, you can really demonstrate them and show the judges this is who we are. So now on to the core values categories. First is discovery. Discovery is about finding new things, learning and growing as a person and as a team. These things don't have to be completely original. They don't have to be something that you thought up of, but you're trying to discover things for yourself. And that means growing and that's helpful but originality doesn't hurt as well. The second category is innovation. Innovation is about using problem solving skills and creativity to tackle decisions and problems. This is largely you, your ability to solve new things and it, it's, it's, you can't, show by your end product, but you can show by saying to the judges, this is how we do things. 
So in the question and answer session, your judges might ask, how do you solve a problem? And there's many ways to go about it. Your team can have a democratic system. You can be like, oh, three members want to have a robot like type A, and three members want to have a robot like type B. Well, how you solve that problem, how you use your abilities, that's all an innovation. And a quote at the bottom from Dean Kamen, he's the founder of FIRST, and he's the inventor of the Segway. An innovation is one of the these, and one of those things that society looks at and says, if we make this part of the way we live and work, it will change the way we live and work. Innovation is really something that's critical to both robot game and project. In project, you're literally solving a problem. What you do in FLL can help others. There have been instances when your project can be taken to other competitions where they're actually created into solutions that'll help people. And you will be rated for how uh, innovative your problems, your problem solution is. And it's also useful in robot game. It's also applicable. In robot game, you have to create new and interesting designs for your robot. Most people use a two motor system, but there are some instances in which the robot looks nothing like what you would expect from uh, something built out of Legos. It can be a machine that expands and contracts. Um, but innovation is really critical for all aspects of FLL. The third category is impact. You need to take the experiences and the lessons you've learned from FLL and apply them to the outside world. That means really helping other people, going out there and sharing what you've learned. And this is a big thing in, um, in project. When you have a solution and you want to share it with other people, you need to, uh, you need to attend different events, you need to attend different um, yeah, different things. But impact is really important for project because you're going to have to be going to a lot of places to gather knowledge and to gain experiences on your um, solution. Next category is inclusion. All team members actively support one another as a team and as a community. Being courteous, accountable, and mindful of others is essential for building a respectful team. So this is all about making sure that everyone is contributing, but also everyone is supporting one another. Judges can see when this is not the case. They'll know, and especially in the question, in the question and answer session, they'll ask you questions. And if not everyone in your team can answer, or if one person is seeming excluded, they'll know. So it's important that in all of your team meetings, in all of your events, that everyone is treated equally regardless of um, abilities or diversity or whatnot. The fourth category is teamwork. This is about how well your team members work together. You need to be organized, competent, efficient, and include other people and their ideas. This is kind of the other half of, of oh wait, what the, did everyone leave? I think everyone left. Keep going, because this will be videotaped. People might want to watch it later. Okay. Teamwork is all about, um, it's the other half of inclusion. Everyone needs to be contributing. Everyone needs to be um, adding to what you're doing. If not everyone knows what's going on, then you can't be an efficient team. You can't solve problems effectively. And finally, the last category is fun. The whole thing of FLL is learning and growing as a team while also having fun. Um, Really, you can't go an entire season without 
enjoying the experience. Otherwise, it won't mean anything. Celebrating and having, yeah, having different um, events, participating in parades, you know, really celebrating team spirit and personality. That's, that's really key for remembering uh, and having experiences in first competitions. A uh, quote from Steve Jobs, the journey is the reward. You, the most fun part, the most interesting parts of FLL that you will remember is not the competition, but rather what you've done throughout the entire season. And that's really all the judges are looking for, these six things. But fun is really key. You, if they see you're not having fun, then they'll know. And that's all the six categories. This slide is how you perform these uh, six categories, how you can apply them to robot and project and your one minute presentation. Show your team personality in your intro video with costumes, hats, teams, team chants, or songs. This is all about team spirit, having fun, showing your individuality, and that'll really show the judges that you're confident you are invested in FLL and that you like the experience, and that's really important. Second is share your work through social media and get feedback from other teams to include in your presentation. Cooperation and gracious professionalism are two words that, um, that first uses to describe key concepts. Gracious professionalism is all about being respectful, but um, acting as a mentor towards other people. You're always sharing your knowledge, but you're always receiving help from other people graciously. That's uh, a large, that's one half of dealing with other teams. You know, that's really important with FIRST. They want you to interact with other teams, other team members, people who have different experiences and who you can learn from and who can also learn from you. And the other half is cooperation. That's all about having a healthy spirit of competition, pushing each other, challenging each other, but also having that cooperation, learning from others, uh, having them learn from you, et cetera. Third is talk about your decision-making process and how you combined ideas of multiple members to achieve a goal in robot design. So as I said before, um, there are different ways you can approach decisions. You can have a democratic process. You can have a trial and error one, see which method works the best. You can just have everyone say, okay, well, this one seems the most effective. I mean, there are many ways to approach problems, but this is a key part in determining how your team functions and uh, core values judges will be looking for these things. Uh, number four is be creative in your project presentation, show personality. This again comes back to team spirit and fun. Number five is be prepared to talk about how you solve problems in q and That's again like number three. Number six is incorporate your discovery process into your presentations. You need to be able to research. You need to be able to find new things on the internet because constantly, even if you're not going to be using everything, in future years, there's always going to be moments when you're going to have to call back on past information. Number seven is make sure everyone participated in all of your presentations, even if you have to edit clips together or edit in a recorded Zoom meeting. So participation is a large part of core values. If not everyone in your team is participating, then you will get deducted for points. Personally, I've had that happen to me and my team. Once I was like that, I didn't participate enough and I got marked down for it and I was disappointed. But you need to make sure that everyone in your team is really working together 
to finish strong in your season. Uh, and the last one is be prepared. Oh, whoops. Um, the last one is be prepared to talk about how team members use core values outside of FLO. And so this is something that um, core values judges talk about in question and answer session. Uh, they ask each and every member, how do you use core values outside of FLO? It can be any sort of extracurricular activity. It can be a sort of um, hobby. It can be really anything that where you apply your core values, what you learn from inside FLL to something in your everyday life. And so everyone should really come up with at least one thing where they apply and they you know, take their experiences out. And so, yeah, that's the end of this uh, presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you. I'm going to pop out and go to my, uh, my session. I'm just going to stop the recording and you can leave. <laughs>